Hello and welcome back. A couple of episodes ago, I put a message out there asking for people if they wanted me to show them some sort of editing technique. One of the questions I got was, could you show us how you remove the horizon? What I would say is if you join my members area, there is videos up there that will show you this, but this is just a quick way of doing it. And it's quite an easy image I've chose to actually show you my process. So, just a bit of background on the image. The image was taken at Linda's Farm in Northumberland, midsummer, very long days. This was really early in the morning, even though it looks like a, a midday shot. I think it was probably about half past six, six o'clock in the morning. What I'd done was get into the water as far as I could. My wellers were being breached, trying to get the shot, trying to get the position that I wanted. And I wanted that perspective just looking slightly up at the boat. So the closer I got to the boat, the better. Um, it was a real calm morning, as you can see. But I wanted to keep the reflections in the water as well. I didn't want to flatten it out completely. I didn't want a two-minute exposure because I wanted to see that. I, I actually really like that little bit of a ripple. So, And the next thing I made sure is that the horizon is in the best position possible for me to remove it in post. Let's get into the image and get rid of this rod and I'll show you how to edit it. The first thing I have done was I leveled the horizon because it wasn't level and I've removed dust spots even though I can still see there's a dust spot on there but we'll remove that in Photoshop. So all I'm going to do now is just send it straight into Photoshop. So we're in Photoshop first thing I'm going to do is just duplicate the layer like I do always and then switch the bottom layer off. Then I'm just going to grab the remove tool and start to pick everything out that I want to remove. Use the, um, the bracketed keys just to resize the, the brush as needed. Make sure that you remove any reflections of anything because they will be seen. Remove these little bits, a little bit of twigs in the water or whatever we'll, we'll remove that horizon there just clipping the back of the boat there remove that horizon like so i'm also going to choose to remove this horizon completely i think and try and do it all in one go it might it might not we'll just see just in between there i think i've selected everything that i want removing we'll just click and see how AI does with a remove. Now it should do a pretty decent job. Okay, so that's the initial remove. It's done a pretty good job. It's nearly where I wanted it to be. Again, it's trial and error. Sometimes it will do a really good job. Sometimes you have to go over it two or three times, but I'm gonna just remove the rest of that. I'm gonna just be quite aggressive with the horizon there. It's not too bad there, but I'm just going to give it another go. Just so hopefully it blends in quite nice. Just there. Okay, um, we'll give it one more go, see what happens. But you can see how quick and really easy it is. Or the longest part is actually waiting for the AI to do its thing. And then um, seeing what it chooses and then dealing with it. Another good tip I would do is sometimes do it in smaller areas. Just try little bits first rather than one big bit. Depends on how the image is, how detailed, how much information is in the image. Okay, so I'm happy with that. It's quite a clean image and we've already got rid of the horizon. We're just going to improve it a little bit. An easy way I find out to do that is back in Lightroom. So if we'll just save that that will save back into Lightroom now okay so we'll just I'll just toggle between the two so that's the before and after shot so like I say we have actually moved the horizon really well but I'm just going to improve on that so what I'm going to do is we'll select a masking layer we will select subject and then hopefully that will select the subject perfectly or as, as good as we need it to be let's say so we'll just let it 
select. We'll have a look what it's actually selected. It's done a pretty brilliant job actually. Not too worried about it, the areas where it's selected in between the, the rail here. Not worried about that at all because it's this bottom area. But what you can do to improve that selection, if you just right click on the mask and um, insert mask, intersect mask with subject again, and it normally will give just a slightly better selection. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but it's worth a try. So then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the mask, um, right click and invert mask. That now is selected all the sea and the sky. But now what we're going to do is intersect that again with a radial grad. So when we draw over the radial grad, all it's going to do is use where we put the grad. Um, so if we just drop down to the DAs, drop down the DAs, you can already see if I just overdo it with the DAs, we're creating that almost like that C fret in the distance there. I'm going to drop the clarity as well. And I'm going to drop the blacks right, well not right down, I'll just drag that a little bit over and I'm just going to centralise it more behind the boat somewhere that like that. So if we have a look just by switching that off what we've done and it's just blended that horizon in just nice. If we've overdone it we can just feather it back out, drop the amount of the mask which I might just do that just to make it blend a little bit better. Fantastic, that's fantastic, it's so easy to do. It really is that easy. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna crack on and um, I'll just edit the rest of this image. So the first thing I see is my shadows, I just wanna bring them up to bring a bit of detail out in the boat there, but not too much. Um, highlights, we're just gonna drop the highlights down a little bit, probably bring the shadows up a little bit more actually. Um, just the whites and the blacks. I'm just going to bring the blacks up a little bit to soften the image a little bit. Drop the DAs, drop the clarity, up the texture. Brilliant. I'm just going to select a linear grad. I'm going to bring it up from this bottom right hand corner. Just darken that. I'm also going to select another linear grad. We're just going to bring the exposure down at the top, like so. I'll select a radial grad. I'm just going to bring it over this side here. And again, just going to drop the exposure just slightly, like so. That is looking really nice. The other thing I want to emphasize is, is that lovely golden light that's bouncing around the cabin. So I'm just going to go down to the, the sliders and um, the colour sliders and we're just going to up the oranges and the yellows. And just bring that nice bit of warmth back in there. Wow, look at that, that looks fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. While we're here, I'm going to drop the saturation, the blue just slightly. Just drop them blues just slightly. And the luminosity of the blues, I'm going to drop that as well because that will actually create a little bit of contrast in the sky there, like so. And then if we just go back to saturation, I'm just going to drop the saturation down just a touch more. I don't think I need to do any more to that image besides just a little bit of sharpening right at the end there. So we'll just go to the sharpening tool, where are we? Sharpening tools here. Just up this sharpening a little bit. Hold the Alt button on a PC or option on a Mac, I believe. Slide it up till we're just selecting just the boat itself and the reflection, like so. Whack up the detail, drop the radius, and then we'll just up the sharpening a little bit to somewhere like that. That is 
really nice and it's worked out really well. I'm so pleased about that. Um, so I'll save that and then all I will do is I'm just going to make a black and white as well because I think the black and white would work. So we'll just convert that to black and white. With the black and white, um, what I need is more contrast in the sky. And the best way to do that is go down to the colour sliders because we know that contrast is blue. So if we drop the luminosity of the blue down, it's creating a nice contrast there that we what we want. Right, so but I also am going to bring up the, the reds to just brighten the boat up a little bit, like so. And I would say that. What I'm going to do now, just adjust the blacks and the whites to just to create more contrast, really, in the image. Just a little bit too much in the blacks there. I'm just going to grab me a radial grad, draw over the boat, invert, drop the Exposure down like so. And then what I'm going to do with that is right click on that mask, duplicate with invert so it will revert the invert. And then I'm just going to bring up the exposure there like so. And that's my edit black and white pretty much done. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.